I believe that I got the drive. I believe there is support for going in a different direction. Plus, one of these men will soon be the next mayor of Milwaukee. And that's where we begin tonight at 9. Just two days from now, Milwaukee will elect its first new mayor in nearly two decades. Early voting has now ended. The candidates are still making their final pitches. Sam Kramer joining us live in downtown Milwaukee. And Sam, what do we know about turnout so far? Yeah, hi there, Ted. That, more than 8,500 people have already cast their ballot in person. Now, that is according to the Milwaukee Election Commission. We don't yet know how many people have returned their absentee ballots, but we do know both Bob Donovan and Cavalier Johnson say the key to victory in this race is turnout. Just two days from Election Day. Tuesday is certainly decision day in the city of Milwaukee. Do we continue down the same old path electing more of the same kinds of individuals that got us into this mess, or do we go in a different direction? Former Alderman Bob Donovan says he's ready to be Milwaukee's next mayor, and he thinks his experience on the Common Council, combined with his grassroots campaign to stand up for the average person, will steer the city in the right direction. We need to do things differently. We need to do things better. We need to be much more effective in how we address the real problems impacting Milwaukee on a day-to-day -day basis out in our neighborhoods. But to win on Tuesday, Donovan will need to make up ground on acting mayor Cavalier Johnson, who won the primary with nearly double Donovan's vote total. I believe that I've got the experiences in this community. I believe that I've got the drive the will and the passion to take Milwaukee where we need to go. Since taking over for former Mayor Tom Barrett, Johnson has used the opportunity to show how he lead the city Goodness. while doing uh, just Max that. From safety district. plans to growing the economy, Johnson says Literally. he can deliver what voters are hoping for. We've done, a, I think, a pretty great job uh, over the course of the past eight months reaching out to Milwaukeeans all across the city on issues that they care about. And I think on Tuesday we'll be victorious in the election. So if you're in Milwaukee and you haven't voted yet, you still have two options. If you do have an absentee ballot, you can turn it in here at City Hall or at Central Count, uh, either tomorrow or on Election Day, or keep your absentee ballot at home and actually vote in person on Tuesday at your polling place. We're live tonight outside City Hall. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. We're all getting ready for Tuesday. Sam, thanks. And 